guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 7 of season 1 of the Netflix live adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I'm... I'm sad it's coming to an end. You know, I think I had a high expectation-ish for the show. Like, I was managing them, and I was like, hey, as long as it's better than this, you know, then we're doing fine. And I am so enjoying myself. Um, things have been reworked in a really good way so far. Like, I'm not disappointed, really, that, like, storylines have been combined or even scenes and moments have been stretched, like Zuko and Aang having that moment where they, they get just a little bit longer together to really just experience each other in, I don't want to say in a vulnerable bit way, but like a mildly vulnerable way. Um, and, and I really appreciated that moment. Now, obviously seeing the Agni Kai, that was the moment that I was dreading for a while. So I do think that I was mentally prepared for it. I was not prepared for Luten's funeral in Hearing Leaves on the Vine, and that one hit me so much harder, but I think um, I was prepared for the Agni Kai because, quite frankly, it was probably one of those things that the, the first time watching it in animation where I kind of turned away because I had grown to love Zuko and I wanted to protect him. Um, you know, I, I still feel this way. And, and you know, I, I love Uncle Iroh and I love his heart and who he is. And definitely, you know, the crew realizing that Zuko, you know, essentially saved their lives by taking him or taking them on this journey with him for the past three years and what he had to sacrifice. Now, he didn't say, like, I want to take them, but he did stick up for them and say that's not OK to sacrifice um, that of the 41st Regiment. Um and I always want to say 42 because 42 is the number of the universe. Um, it's it's always the answer. So <laughs> I have to watch that I don't say the wrong thing. But, you know, especially Chops, you know, he's seeing uh, Zuko in a different light and having respect for him and saying so. I think that that gives Zuko, you know, a little bit more confidence going into the the next episode, you know, and, and facing Zhao. Because, like, let's face it, like, Zhao, especially in the last episode when he's like, make sure you write this down, make sure it makes me look good, you know, change loyalty to to uh, faithful. And, and, like, he really wants to build himself up to, like, look great for the Fire Lord. Um, but, you know, I think the Fire Lord, even, even if he had sent that off and the Fire Lord had gotten news... Um, you know, we saw how Ozai reacted to Azula kind of doing the same thing where it was like building herself up and trying to knock Zuko down and, and, you know, Ozai's like, mm -mm, I'm not falling for it and kind of called her out on it a little bit. And, uh, I, I, I would think Zhao would probably get caught the same way. So maybe losing the avatar and still being in pursuit is a good thing for him. <laughs> it's so funny because like, there's not like one thing that I really liked about Zhao um, in in the animated series at all, but I love the way this actor is portraying him. It's not nearly the same. It's not as rough and gruff. Like it's almost like an air of whimsy that's to his voice, the way he speaks sometimes, like the cadence, everything is like really interesting. And I, I like the portrayal. Um, like I hate him less, but somehow hate him more. It's weird. It's funny. Uh, but uh, now we have Sokka and Katara back with Aang. And one thing that I am really, really liking about this is that it has all the core elements of everything that I love about Avatar. But I almost don't know what's coming next because there have been things from like season two that have been brought into this season. And like, like June going to Roku's island to get Aang, like... I don't almost don't know what's coming next until like that next story beat gets there. And I actually kind of like that because it keeps me on my toes. Like if it were a one for one and I was just watching people, you know, do exactly what was in the animated series, I think I'd get bored very quickly. Um, and, and there wouldn't be any anything earned. Like I'm saying, like the the Iro Lu Ten scene, the funeral with Zuko, like you never see that in animation. And that's such a great addition to this series. And, and to have... Those things kind of, uh, the way that they're reworked works so well in, in a live action setting. 
And I love that I don't know what's coming next sometimes. Like I know what stories are definitely going to happen, but how we get there, what we're going to see, who does what, I'm just, I'm thrilled with it. This, this show has been kind of, I think if you were expecting it to be anything like the animated series, you would automatically get let down. And that's, that's not fair to you. Um, but at the same time, like if you like can sit back and say like, that's its own thing. And, and this is this thing. This is a great show. Um, and it doesn't help that, like, the, 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 the emotional beats are so there and they feel even heavier because I've already experienced it. But now I'm experiencing it with new people and, and people that I care about. So I've got two groups of, like, people that I, I wildly care about. And it's just increasing the emotions that I'm, I'm, I'm feeling while I'm watching it. And I don't think I've ever experienced that before. So... That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Like I'm I'm so excited to get into this next episode. So I'm not going to delay any further, guys. Let's get into it. Ooh, what's happening? The Imperial Guard. They're coming to take the prince into custody. Are you certain? Yes, sir. I heard Dang order his men to shore to meet the guard tonight. That means he'll be here anyway. Look at Chops with the loyalty. I love it. Thank you, Lieutenant G. <laughs> Stay safe, Your Highness. That makes me so happy. Except him having to leave again. <laughs> she had no idea. It was all too easy to get him to take the bait. Oh, that's right. But didn't they try to, like, kill him and then... Iro thought that Zuko was dead. What will you tell the Fire Lord about his son? That the prince chose oh, to put jump. his needs over those of his countrymen. J yep, he tried to kill you. Jump! 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 Prince. That was way different than the uh, animated series, but exactly the same at the same time. Zuko. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I don't like seeing Uncle Iroh hurt. Oh, the music. Oh, we went blue. Because we're going to the north. The north. <laughs> okay. Hey, Zhao, the north will remember. He just seems so alone. Sad. I'm shocked. Sokka. Shut up, Sokka. I made a connection with him. <laughs> Right? Zuko and I, we both have a lot on our shoulders. Parallel paths. I haven't learned any of the other bending skills, and I'll probably continue messing up. But at least I'll be able to do it with my friends by my side. That's right. Team Avatar. Team Avatar! Mm. Oh, Appa. What is it, boy? Look! It's the Northern Water Tribe! Oh, it looks so good! I don't know if we ever learned the name of this place before. This is beautiful. Yeah, is he a princess, Sokka? Your beast is in good hands. My men will take him to our buffalo yak stables, which are in a heated grotto. Plenty of light and space. Oh, good. Make sure he gets seaweed. Lots of seaweed. <laughs> oh, it's so stunning. It is a great day for our city as we welcome mighty allies, and we shall celebrate their arrival with a feast. Yes, yeah, stop, stop staring, kiddo. Can't help it. There's something about her. She's stunning. Have we met her before? No. You see her every now and no, then. Quit it before they think something's wrong with you. Every 28 days. <laughs> the Fire Lord has given me the honor of leading a great armada hmm. with orders to conquer the North. Forgive me, Admiral, but you weren't the first to come to mind for such a prominent mission. Mm. I admit that I have little experience in battle. He wants to change that. Course, that also means that I have no track record of failure, unlike you. Yeah, I did get that wound, you jerk face. I hate that guy. Oh, I love watching Azula. Oh, so exciting. Fire Ben, girl. Immediate stop. That's amazing. If 
Fire Lord deems your performance below average. Really? But I defeated him. You should have finished him at least two moves earlier. Thus, you will undergo another trial tomorrow. <sighs> Incredibly unfair. <laughs> Saka, stop it. <laughs> Why don't you just go and talk to her? Mm-hmm. Say what? Hey there, Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. Wanna hang out? She's just a girl. She's a princess and a spiritual leader. She probably sleeps on a throne and only eats dewdrops and sunshine. Oh. You say you were entirely self-taught. Yes. I feel like I've come pretty far, but I still have so much to learn. That's why I couldn't wait to get here to meet other waterbenders and especially esteemed masters like you. Is he gonna train her or no? Tomorrow morning, go and find Yagoda. She is one of our finest instructors and she can start you on your journey. Thank you, Master Paku. Healing, but not fighting. Sokka, just go say hi. Sweet. Did she just make ice cream? It's amazing. When I was a kid, I used to hide out here when my dad would meet with the elders. He said he wanted me to see how things worked in the tribe because someday it would be my responsibility. Not very fun. Mm. So I'd hide out here with the grands and make dessert. Mm. Sounds fun. You are just a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you think I wasn't a girl? No, no, no. I, I just figured with you being a princess and all. That I was stuck up? Yeah. I mean, Oop. no. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought. But no, you're ordinary. Um. Not ordinary. Because that wouldn't be good. Yeah. And I, th I think I should stop saying words now. Probably for the best. I get it. I know out there. I seem all. But <laughs> that's what they expect me to be. <laughs> oh. I totally missed that. Interesting. Truth is. I haven't mastered any other bending, but that's why I came here, hoping someone could teach me. But we've heard stories of how you've saved communities, even battled monsters. How were you able to do all that? My friends helped me. It would have been wise to have focused on your training during your journey. <laughs> well, that would have been nice if it allowed for it. Which reminds me, when did we get to fight training? Excuse me? I think my basic forms are pretty good, but... I could use help with accuracy oh, and they're still gonna power. do it. I'm sorry, but women don't fight. Ah. We use our skills to heal, not to harm. I don't want to just heal. I think my skills lie more in combat, so I'd like to train in fighting techniques. In the Northern Water Tribe, women aren't allowed to fight. Aren't allowed? <laughs> uh oh. That's not right. But that is our way. Topaku! <laughs> Give him a piece of your mind, girl. I am so ready. The princess and I, we were betrothed. Yeah. It was arranged by our parents when we were children, but when she turned 16, she broke it off. Mm. Which was her prerogative. You would have gone through with it? You would have married her? Probably. She's awesome. She makes ice cream. Thank you for coming to pay your respects to Avatar Cook. I'm here to do a little bit more than that. Oh, Kurik can help me make a difference in this fight. Are we gonna meet Kurik? That's exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to meet Kurik. Wow. Hello, A. Eh? I see you made it to the north. He's dope. Oh, sorry, I was looking for Katara. I should get going. You wanna talk to her about the thing? Is something wrong? N no, I'm just a little tired. I guess you need to go and recombobulate. Mm hmm? Mm. I knew it, you're the fox. Yes. But how? Not long after I was born, I got very sick. So my father pleaded with the spirits to save my life. The moon spirit answered his prayer and imbued me with some of its essence and restored my life. So you're a spirit? Part spirit, mostly human. 
it also means I have the ability to visit the spirit world in my dreams. So you pop over there just for fun? <laughs> Wouldn't you? No. It's magical. It's horrible. Do you know what I remember about you from the spirit world? You were worried about your friends. You knew they were in trouble and you had to help them. Mm. Your heart, that's what sets you apart. That's what makes you a warrior. <laughs> I have a feeling if your father saw you now, he would agree. I think so too. I need to know something. Mm -hmm. Why did you turn down Han? Han is wonderful, but he is not the boy of my dreams. It's so romantic. God. It's how I made it this far, and with their help, is how I'm gonna make it through this battle. Yep. We're Team Avatar. Team Avatar. There is no Team Avatar. There is only the Avatar. Bitter. That's what you are, is bitter. Hey, so did you talk to Kurek? Was he able to help? No, he couldn't help me. It's bitter and angry. Can't rely on avatars, but you can rely on your friends. Where will I be stationed during the battle? Women aren't allowed in combat. I thought you knew. No, I didn't. I wouldn't have accepted it if I did. Good for you. It's not a matter of accepting anything. It's how things are done. It's stupid and it's wrong. This is not up for debate. I've been fighting firebenders ever since I left home. Can any of your men say that? That doesn't matter. Why not? Because this isn't about them. It's about you. You're not strong enough. Women aren't strong enough. <laughs> You haven't been training and preparing to lay down your life for everyone here. Yes, yeah, she has. Literally the entire journey. They won't let me fight. They've been stuck behind this wall for so long. They've become frozen in time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should talk to Yue. Or maybe... Maybe we should listen to them. Uh. Mm. Maybe it's better if you didn't fight. Oh, this boy. battle. It'll be like nothing we've ever faced before. People are going to get hurt and die. I can't lose you in Sokka. No. You're not gonna lose us. But just the thought I could is gonna hold me back. These people need the Avatar. And I can't be the Avatar with you around. Oh, I hate that message. I hate that so much. The love of his friends is what makes him strong. It's a pretty dope ship. I can't get over the air pollution. I know that it throws ash in the air and you can see it, but it still makes me sick. I have personally made arrangements to ensure our victory. Wait. What is that? This. This is destiny. Is that from the library? He's attacking the fortress head on, like a bull in heat. There may be more, but he's keeping it to himself. Hey, babe. I fear I've underestimated Chow. He's more dangerous than I thought. Yeah, I figured that out as I was swimming away from the burning wreck of my boat. <laughs> We've almost reached the north. Have you got a plan yet? The plan is to prove my father wasn't wrong to trust me with this mission. The plan is to reclaim what's rightfully mine. So no plan. <laughs> Choose your opponent. No. You must select one. No, I'm done. Azula, stop playing games. I'm not the one playing games. This is your last chance. Fight or fail. No. You dare. Ooh. Is she gonna fight her father? That's insane. Oh, it's the Azula move. So does that mean I can't do that? You want to test me? Set me loose. Let me go into the world and show you what I can really do. I'm through playing games here. Okay. I'm going to challenge Paku to fight. I love that for us. I know he's probably going to mop the floor with me, but it doesn't matter. All my life I've held myself back. I'm not just going to let someone else do it to me now. Good for you. I love you, girl. Remember back at the Southern Air Temple when you said we had to go with Aang? You were right. 
if we hadn't gone with him, I wouldn't have seen how two kids from the Southern Water Tribe can measure up to anyone. Firebenders, earthbenders, spirit creatures. If you're trying to talk sense into me, you're not doing a very good job. Sense? <laughs> Who's talking sense? <laughs> no, what I'm trying to tell you is, go kick his ass. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love the relationship. Go back to the healing huts with the other women. Okay. I'm like... Fine. You want to learn how to fight? Study closely. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come on, Katara. Try to land a blow. Had enough. <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> oh, it's my girl! Come on, Katara. <laughs> yes! Learn that from the Earthbenders! Oh, this is so dope! This looks so good! He's expected to win. I'll say this, you're an excellent waterbender. But you still won't let me fight. No. No one's pushed Master Poppy like this. <laughs> that was incredible. Those ice discs, how did you do that? Can you show me? Suck it, Paku. Well, I doubt anyone's gonna say you're not strong enough now. Uh-huh. No, I'll just say I lost. Did you? I know, look at all the people around you. You said you're afraid of losing us, and that's why we can't stay by your side. But it's my decision to fight, not Paku's and not yours. And do you think we came all the way here just to leave you on your own, silly avatar? <laughs> silly avatar. <laughs> I don't know if I can protect you. You don't protect. have to. Yeah, and worrying about who will or won't get hurt, it's not just the avatar who has to deal with that. That's what it means to be a family. Kuro, Kuroku, Kiyoshi, they all said that I need to do this by myself. The Avatar must bear the burden alone. This is the past. Now only one person can tell you the future. The person who will write the legend of Aang. <laughs> she means you. You got that. <laughs> Thank you, Sokka. <laughs> oh, Ash. Fire Nation's here. Time to fight. Oh! God, that was abrupt. Okay. All right. I feel like the last three reactions are gonna have me wearing the same outfit because I'm not gonna wanna stop watching. So, yep. Okay, so obviously we, uh, us fans have been waiting for the Paku moment and uh, you know, some things didn't go quite the way that I, I thought. Um, it's so funny because I didn't, I didn't catch Yue's hair thing in the fox. And I was just like, I was like, he, he's like, she looks familiar. And I was like, oh, she's the moon. Every 28 days, there's a cycle, you know, like, duh. She's the fox. Um, I actually like that because then her being in the spirit world, her being part of the moon spirit, um, and incorporating her dreams and that Sokka was the man of her dreams and not Han. And it's funny, I, 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 I like the difference that they have of Han in this one. Han, in the animated series, I was like, oh God, this guy's going to be obnoxious. And he's not in this. And I love that because he is a very good, respectable man. Absolutely. But I think Yue knew what her destiny was. And it was the boy in her dreams. Uh, it was so nice to see Yue um, ignite the ice cream moment. There's so much more building that, that happened between them and it, we, we had building pl 
plenty of building in the animated series, much more than in the damn movie. It's like, hi, I'm Yue. Hi, I'm Sokka. I love you. Oh, and then everything else that happens. Um, so I, I really love that moment of like, like her, like pretty much saying like, I am just a regular girl and him being like, you're so ordinary and her being like, how dare you? Um, <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. And him actually even having the moment with Han where it was like Han being like open and vulnerable about Yue and, and Sokka kind of taking it all in. Uh, such a great thing. Now, I don't know if Master Paku is going to learn about Katara's necklace and the connection with the necklace and him and then have him... I mean, obviously, if the Fire Nation's here, there's no time to train her. But obviously, you know, she didn't intend on winning that fight whatsoever. She knew she was going to lose. She even said so. He's going to mop the floor with me. But, like, to stand up to, to Master Paku and spar with Master Paku, um, I think she got the point across, especially when everyone's like, whoa, how did you do that? Like, and, like, she could actually teach other waterbenders a thing or two that, like, you know, Master Paku wasn't expecting. The ice discs? He wasn't expecting that. That is a earthbender move. Uh, I love that for her. I love that she had that moment. I've been waiting for that moment. It's so exciting when Katara has that moment. And, and like, the tribes and the sexism that's in the tribes, you know, uh, in, in the animated series, it's much heavier. That It would not work in, in regular, uh, I don't want to say regular life because as though this is regular, but, like, in live action, it would probably come off, like, really awful and cheesy and gross. But in this way, we still get that, but we get Sokka really supporting his sister and, and, and really just being like, like, no, wipe his ass, wipe his ass, oh my gosh, <laughs> kick his ass. <laughs> I went to say wipe the floor with him and kick his ass and... <laughs> There's no ass wiping. <laughs> I love being me. Anyway, uh, it's it was just really a great moment between Sokka and Katara. And, like, Sokka has had some really good moments. And even the kiss with, like, Yue. It's such an earned moment. And I'm so glad that they planted the, the, the fox, like, in the spirit world. And, like, have that, like, so, like, he does know her. And there is a bond. And there is, like somehow a communication happening between the two of them before he actually gets to the north. And so it makes that kiss very earned because like she helped him through that and, and, you know, was able to tell him that like he was very brave and all he thought about was saving his friends. And like, that's what a warrior does. And it's his heart that sets him apart. That's what I always say in, in the show is that, you know, yes, Sokka is the comic relief. And, and yes, like, you know, he's he's the guy that, like, goes in and, and does the battle plans. And you can depend on him for that. But he is, like, such a lover. And, I mean, he's he's a ladies' man. And it's it's definitely been explained that he's a ladies' man. But, like, it's, it's such a beautiful earned moment between those two. Oh, my God, I love that. Now, uh, Avatar Karuk... He suffered quite a loss, and I can't even imagine Ko taking somebody that I loved and stealing their face and paying the ultimate price, but I also know that, you know, he wasn't as involved with the world, and, you know, we learned that he was fighting dark spirits. If you watch any other iteration of any animated show that is in this universe, you know that, like, that's a thing. Um, and so that's, a, that's an interesting take on him. And I'm, I'm glad that we got to explore the past avatars. I don't, it would have been really nice to meet Yang Chen. I don't think we'll do that in the last episode. Obviously you have to be at one of their shrines. And, uh, as far as I know, Yang Chen was at the Southern Air Temple. So <sighs> I wonder if there's a temple or a, a shrine at every temple. I guess they wouldn't just do that for one avatar. I don't know. I don't know how he talks to Yang Chen, but I would love that. I'd absolutely love that. And, like, the look of Karuk coming out of the snow and having the wolf head on him, like, just amazing, just amazing. And I, I said this in the uh, animated series that I love that, like, you'd see Sokka with, like, the wolf head and a lot of them have, like, the, the helmets that have the wolf on it and how drawn they are to the moon. And I, I love how they do that, uh, even artistically in the show. It just makes me so happy. Um, obviously, when Zuko's boat exploded, we knew he was okay. Uncle Iroh didn't, or I don't know, th th because they never show Zuko and Iroh kind of catching up with each other. Um, and I don't think they do that in the animated series either. Um, it, it was a great moment where he's like, what's the plan? And he's just like, get the Avatar, find the Avatar, take the Avatar, my honor, my honor, my honor. And Uncle Iroh's like, 
so there's no plan. Um, <laughs> I love that. I love how he kind of plays on Zhao a little bit with, like, saying that, like, Ozai was responsible for Zuko's death. And, like, you know, of course Zhao thinks he got away with something. But then he had the waterbender thing that was right there. And then they cut to Azula. So I don't know if Azula got him the information about the moon and ocean spirits. Um, because he got it from the library before, but we, we've already met Wang Shi Tong, so maybe we don't even get that scene. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. It's such a primer for, like, an amazing battle, and I am so ready. Oh, and then, you know, like, of course, Chops, uh, Lieutenant Xi, you know, coming to Zuko and telling him that information, obviously he was played and that it was a, a, a plan to have him, you know, relay that information to kill Zuko. Um, but like, like, that's great. Like, he's so loyal to Zuko now. Like, now that he understands Zuko's anger and why he is the way he is, he's so loyal. And that thank you from Zuko was so meaningful. It was such a beautiful moment. Uh, all, all these moments are so earned and I love that that like they could just play on your nostalgia the entire time when they do this but they don't they put them in different scenarios or they build it from another episode and then it's just so earned I love it I love it I can't wait to watch the next episode I'm gonna have the same hair same makeup same shirt because there's no way I'm not finishing it now I think I watched this in three days uh four days because I got up at like 4 a.m. after it dropped at midnight, watched the first episode, went to work, came home after working eight hours, watched episode two, and then uh, three, four, five, six, and then... Anyway, uh, so literally I've, I've watched this all in four days, and I thought I'd be exhausted, and I am so ready to watch the next one. I love when I finish watching an episode of Avatar or The Legend of Korra, and I am so energized for the next one because it just like, like is like... <sighs> I can't wait to watch it. And definitely in this case, I cannot wait to watch it. I cannot wait to witness what I believe we're going to see. It's a lot to put in one episode. So hopefully they are able to uh, knock it out of the park because, I mean, they're not going to blow it, but like, I, I don't know what they're going to have to cut and what they're going to leave in and how they're going to go about it. So like, like, I hope they stick the landing. So guys, uh, you can watch the full link reaction to this episode on my Patreon. Uh, but in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. What did you think of this episode and how they kind of changed the story with UA a little bit? Because I think it actually added to it. I really love it. I love that they changed Han's character, that he's not a douche, because that was something that I was really kind of like worried about. A lot of the cheesier, funnier, goofier things from the show are definitely great in animation. I don't think you can get away with it in live action. And uh, they made him a, a rather charming character, and that made me pretty happy. Um, but like, I, I love the the heart that they built in with Yue and Sokka uh, long before this episode. You know, it was like she was very helpful to him. I don't know how I didn't catch that it was Yue as a snow fox. You know what? I'm keen on a lot of stuff, but other stuff I'm just like, no, I don't know until it's presented to me. And I'm like, oh yeah, good call. Good call. Good call. <laughs> but what did you think of Avatar Karuk? Because he looked awesome. And then he was kind of bumming my flow. Like I really expected him to uh, be amazing. And uh, that is not the case. Um, a lot of times talking to the avatars have proven to not be very helpful for a lot of uh, the, the living avatars that have sought them. Um, they don't really ever give the best advice. I'm, I'm happy to see him. I wish we got Yang Chen, but here we are. I'm very eager to get into the next episode and see how they finish this thing off because there's so much and I'm just wondering how it's going to go down. So guys, come back here for the next episode. And in the meantime, I'll see you.